Dance with the fishermen and their dories, Kenway! This is mine! Come at me and I'll cap you, bastard! It was your bloody imagination that landed us here, Kenway! I'll be damned if I let that mine make one more decision for me! Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Madness? <laughs> Nothing mad about a man fighting to survive, is there? I mean you no harm, you corker. Now let's work this out like gentlemen. Oh, God! I've got a bleeding headache on account of your jabbering! Now stay back and let me live in peace! I would if you stop filtering the food I gather and the water I find. I'll stop nothing till you bait me back in blood. You was the reason we were out looking for slavers, and you was the reason Jack Rackham took my crew!
I said not to follow! Jesus, you've lost your head, man! It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenados. Listen, Vane. We can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I mean to! Into this mess, can't wait. And I'll be damned if I let you drag me into another. You keep this up, and I'll have to kill you, Vane. Bloody try, by all means. I see you coming, sir. I see you plain and clear. It's either you or me who's leaving this island alive, Welcher! Because I'm not going to sail again in a world cursed by your ugly bug! You can't hide, can we? Escaping me! Not dead yet! Here! Fucking nay, Vane! 
Froggy. <laughs> Nancy boy. Only turn off for fucking job. Fucking hell. Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition to stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe you just don't have the stones to live with no regrets. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanker. I ain't coming soon. Stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my break from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, can we? Find the sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement. What news are they? This Bajan works for the Royal African Company. Tell him what you told me. I haven't seen the princess for eight weeks or more. Meaning she may soon be back. What else? I thought this buck belonged to the other men who was asking about the princess this morning. 
So I told him that... What other men? A haughty sailor in plain rags, and a gent with a scar just here. Where have they got to? Staying just round the corner, they said. I grow tired of chasing these fantasies of yours, Edward. As does a crew. Hang in there, man. We're getting close. Yourselves, you dullards! Come on, <laughs> don't lose that shit! Here! 
Have you alerted the men? We're short on time. Aye. There'll be two soldiers waiting for us at the crossroads. Very good. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what's the meaning behind the blood samples we're taking? Torres tells me that blood is required for the observatory to properly function. How do you mean, sir? If one wishes to use the observatory to, say, spy on King George, then one would require a drop of the King's blood to do so. In other words, a small sample of blood gives us access to a man's everyday life. Does Torres mean to spy on me then? For I've just given him a sample of my blood. As have I, Captain Hornigold, as will all Templars. It is a measure of insurance. And trust, I reckon. Yes, but fear not. Torres has shipped our samples to a Templar state house in Rio de Janeiro. We will not be the observatory's first subjects, I assure you. Aye, sir. I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return. Precisely. Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods worked best? I believe it was my charisma that persuaded them. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. <laughs> it's not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we? Master, welcome. Buenas noches. What have you learned? The princess was taken by pirates six weeks ago, and so far as we know, 
The Sage Roberts was still aboard. Very good. It is something, no? And what measures are we taking to recover the princess from this fight? Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the safety. What of the Sage Roberts' location? Do we know? Africa, Your Excellency. Africa? By God. The winds do not favor that. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making a swift journey. Slave galley? Captain, I asked you to divest yourself for that secret. I failed to see the difference between enslaving some men and all of us. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to revolt. But, enslave a man's mind, and his body will follow up. Natural. A fair point, I've got a clear shot. <sighs> we'll not let you get away! Stop you! Hey! Oh, a mistake! Uh, remind me, where in Africa are we looking? Principe, sir, a small island. We've sent two of our best men, Burgess and Cochrane. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jackdaw anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us down river. Because I found a better path. The Templars know order, discipline, structure. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real, something beyond yourself. Watch out, you pillar. I just have to pull the trigger. 